appreciate the way ahead, we need to look back to the 1960s. When we think of the 60s, we think of the birth of a new individualism. The 60s revolutionaries kicked against the social values that they'd inherited from the decade before. Throwing themselves into the unknown, they conducted radical experiments with new forms of life. They liberated their desires through sexual expression and free love, threw open the doors of perception through drugs and radical philosophy, and made music and art to celebrate the spiritual transformation of a whole generation. The 60s countercultural revolutionaries shrugged off the straitjacket of mass market culture and embraced a new era of individual expression. However, our perspective on the 60s tends to be overly focused on individualism. This is on account of the way that capitalism adapted itself through the 70s and 80s. The 60s caught capitalism completely off guard. How are companies to sell products to a generation that had rejected consumerism? The answer was to tune into the movement and to sell to the individual in everyone. The strategy worked. The marketing machine captured the spirit of 60s individualism and made it its own. Today, this leaves us doubly compromised. Ooh. On the one hand, we've become used to defining ourselves by the things we buy. Leaving ideology behind, we now derive a sense of personal identity and empowerment from the goods we purchase and consume. We become revolutionary exponents of over-the-counter culture. Fired by the rallying cry, go on, break the rules, define who you are. With our sneakers. <laughs> On the other hand, we've inherited an incomplete picture of history. Blinded by individualistic short-sightedness, we fail to see what the 60s revolution was really all about. The 60s was only superficially a decade of individualism. If the countercultural revolution transformed society, it was because individuals, knowingly or unknowingly, acted en masse, as a swarm. The countercultural revolution was a rhizomatic meshwork of loosely coordinated, loosely affiliated struggles. Their goals weren't always complementary, but the struggles were aligned, and together they staged a mass offensive to shatter the status quo.